poetry is very important and not just to the youth but to every single human being um, poetry is medicine it helps us escape from the reality it helps us to explain how we feel and so taking that and implement it into the youth they were able to recognize the power of their voice often we get lost in this mentality that we're just like everybody else it's false there is a world of seven billion people and no one is built like us the way we are emotionally genetically and in the way we think so it's unfair for us to let other people speak on how we feel and so that's why I feel poetry is important because we get to uh, put our voice into the museum, this world. We get to paint the world with our voice. Uh, my connection working with ESL students is that I was once an ESL student. So I was, I was working with these youth because I felt like we had an affinity, uh, like we, we shared a similar history. Family and future, rank yeah. anything. Yeah. Go. Yeah, you can add as many words as you want. You can say lovely, loved, loving. You can put it in any order you want. So you can start off. My future involves being on Mars. That's what I call my home. I love to eat fish. They are also my family. Randomly, I want to run to some random galaxy and I want peace and I'll bring them peace as long as they understand that love is important. Random. Whatever. Well, I have to, if you have something you like, you snap your fingers. So at the beginning, what you... It's in Canada. That's what I call home. But the real home is back in Lebanon. That's why, I that's, that's why I call my real home. But when I remember my family, I start thinking of my future. My mom, I love my mom. Everyone loves his mom. Right, guys? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but... But in my country, I want peace. I want everything to be awesome. I like, I like more than peace. I like freedom. And if there was peace and freedom, I wouldn't come to Canada. I'm not saying that Canada is a bad country. <laughs> but Canada is an awesome country. Thank you, guys. <laughs> that, that right here is a poem. Is a poem. Why? You know why? It explains everything. It talks about why he wants to go home. This is a that, was, that was very good. That was very good. Poetry is listening too. You have to be able to receive a message in order to send it. Uh, you have to be a great reader in order to be a great writer. And so if these youth want to speak about poetry, I think it's very important that they learn to listen for poetry. And by listening to poetry, I mean life, listening to their teachers, listening to the morals, uh, listening to people's nuances, uh, listening to the birds. This is all poetry. I was losing for my future, but also losing for my peace. My family struggled for love. Remember the breathe means no more talking. Yeah. If you talk after the breathe, it makes no sense. Let's go. Three, two, one, breathe! Every morning, every morning when I wake up at home, my family is full of love and peace. And I think I have a, and I have a bright, bright future in Canada. Really good. Adele and Sumaya. <laughs> and say people treat sex go. As soon as he says, you have to think of it like this, count it down like this, right? So Muslim goes, people of Treaty 6, we thank you. Um, the, my most, most valuable step, the step that I enjoyed the most out of this whole thing was seeing the final product. You know, you always stress, uh, I deal with a lot of anxiety 
and so I put myself in these things almost as a medicine and I like the challenge and so to me the most fruitful part is when it's over when it's done when they've performed they've been up on stage people recognize their value they see that these youth have something to say what they said is all them nobody spoke for them uh, these steps was to uh, was to ensure that this is their voice being heard and not me placing mine because as an instructor my job was not to build them it was to lay a blueprint down and for them to build themselves